this is uh, how we are going to repair the uh, ATP sensors in our laboratory. Uh, as you can see, the item that is uh, found to be defective, I could show you the label. So uh, this is the uh, TM630 speed sensor and it's a uh, serial number. What we're gonna do now is to open the item as authorized by the uh, supplier. So we're opening the leads of this uh, speed sensor. And uh, we'll uh, disconnect the main cable wires for it. And also, uh, the top PCV shall be uh, also removed. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, electronic part of the ATP sensors. Commonly, the the uh, the items that are found to be defective is the uh, coil here there um, I, I'll try to, take, to uh, test if it is uh, uh, the pins are broken So right now we found it uh, a pin or the uh, second pin is broken so we'll try to move it and uh, as you can see it's uh, broken and uh, we'll try to uh, remove it from the uh, PCB sometimes we use a uh, soldering iron to uh, remove the leads And sometimes we uh, remove all the uh, main PCB boards to uh, desolder all the clean the, uh, the uh, PCB from uh, solder leads. Okay. So what we do commonly is to uh, replace this uh, this lead. This uh, this is a coil. So you can see it's, uh, the pins are broken and uh, what we do is to replace it with another component, this one, this is a resistor, it's a 1 watt uh, 3 ohm resistor, so that's what uh, we are going to replace the, uh, the coils here. That are broken pins so as you can see we have a, a larger diameter of pins so uh, we put it on the uh, we commonly put it on the on the uh, the uh, coils uh, or no, the uh, location of the coil so something like this and after that we uh, commonly remove all the pcb and solder it down to the 
to the main PCB. These are just uh, demonstrating how we we uh, solder the component, the resistor, into the uh, previous location of the uh, coil. So here. We are cleaning the uh, the uh, excess solder from the PCB. This just to clean it. And on the other side, that will uh, do the trick. And then we put in the replacement resistor. Okay. And that's it. And we just solder it down. And uh, we uh, test it to the uh, oscilloscope. Okay. And up. Uh, Another thing that we found to be uh, sometimes defective is the uh, uh, is the uh, plastic part underneath the underneath the uh, ATP sensor, which is this one. We could uh, see if it is broken while we uh, turn it. We uh, we uh, rotate this part. And we will know if it is broken. Uh, it looks like something like this. So uh, this is a plastic uh, material from the ATP sensor. If this one is a broken one, so we will replace it with another material that we have uh, manufactured or fabricated. Inside is a copper inside of it is copper and the outer outer one is like a fiber wood uh, with access as, as a uh, insulator for this uh, part mechanical part of the ATP system so that's it that's uh, all what we did to uh, repair the ATP sensors thank you